Greetings. It's your friendly neighborhood PhD, Dr. Judd Burton, coming to you with another Beyond Report on this uh, Wednesday, November the uh, 24th, 2021. As always, if you like the content, please click a like, subscribe, and share. I do appreciate it. You're helping to grow the channel, and I'm back from a little bit of a hiatus from making videos. Uh, I've done a, a, a few uh, podcasts and shows here and there and had some projects that have kept me busy, um, but I know, knew that I needed to get back on track uh, with making um, the various video series that I produce and that you guys have come to love and enjoy, so uh, here we go. Well, first of all, I just wanted to start off with a word of encouragement. I know that we we are living in some very strange times, prophetic times indeed, I would say. Uh, but our marching orders, our kingdom orders have not changed. I would just encourage you to stay prayerful and uh, be disciplined in your study of the scriptures and their applications. And uh, also be mindful of the season. You know, let's be thankful for the blessings that we have, even even amidst the the strange and chaotic times that we seem to be living in. Um, with that being said, uh, there's some interesting news that's come across my desk here recently. Uh, one bit of news, rather disturbing but not necessarily surprising, uh, I, I saw the other day uh, that Disney, or rather I think the company is Insight, um, or something, something to that effect, uh, is uh, they're now licensing their characters for use in a, a tarot deck. Yes, you heard me correctly. The deck of cards used for divination and foretelling, um, a, a staple in the occult world. Uh, so, again, I, I, it's disturbing, as I say, but it's not shocking because this is not certainly not the first time that... Uh, that Disney uh, has ever done something like this or, or used um, its its characters to, to lure people into the occult. Um, so another bit of news uh, of interest to everyone, I think, would be um, actually was brought to my attention by a student of mine, uh, Kenny C., uh, at, uh, uh, on The Rock. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out his... Um, site you you really should do that um he is is also currently taking um the or, or just finishing the vampirology class and he he posted uh, an article on uh vampires this fellow who was doing ethnography on groups of vampires in places like new orleans and uh new york and this is certainly valuable study uh, because you're looking at these these subcultures that emulate the uh, the the practices of the vampire and the nature of the vampire, uh, but an important distinction should be made that these are technically vampiroid. Um, they're they may uh, there certainly seems to be some kind of demonic influence here, uh, but they're not vampires in the strict sense of the word um so it, it's kind of a fuzzy line i know but uh this article is valuable nonetheless because of um it, it's all part of the same uh group of research gr uh, group of literature uh so i'll put a link in the description to that and also um the stuff about the the disney uh tarot deck so <laughs> here's m more more news from the front lines that we're we're still in this supernatural war uh you get this stuff almost hourly daily um so well in order to help equip you to deal with a lot of this kind of stuff i've got all kinds of coursework books teachings um to help you out and uh, be looking for some really good deals toward the end of the week. Um, but I've got uh, the programs themselves, the certification programs, um, 
the uh, 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 biblical anthropology, the flagship program, biblical demonology, preternatural morphology, mythology, ancient Near East, uh, and Mediterranean civilization. All each one of those hundred and five dollars this week, you get registered for the next session, which begins December the sixth. Uh, my books are on sale this week for fifteen percent off. Uh, and I'll put information uh, in the uh, description below. And um, I've done a few recent appearances, uh, n notably uh, Blurry Creatures. Doug Van Dorn and I did a, a, a two-part series on demonology. And uh, I just finished the other day uh, an episode of Disputed Lands with Chad Schaefer in which we talked about the history of Peneus. We're going to follow that up with a part two uh, as well. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. Okay, my friends, uh, that's about it for now. Uh, until next time, uh, I pray that everybody has a, a good Thanksgiving. Enjoy some time with your family, and I will talk to you then. Godspeed.